Metaphysics. Come on. 101 for white privilege. Oh, shit. Come on. Let's go. If a tree, if a tree falls in the forest, and the people in the forest claim not to hear it, did it make a sound? What if that tree was rosewood burning? What if that tree were a dark shade of brown? Would it matter then? Or are you one of those all trees matter type of people? What if that tree didn't just fall? What if that tree got chopped down? And what if that tree, what if that tree made up 13% of the population, but 60% of the caskets? What if the ash were targeting that tree? What if that tree had both of its branches stretched like the first day of spring? What if that tree tried to comply and still died? Is its death still a death? Is death, death when no one recognizes the life? Come on. Metaphysics is a broad philosophy full of questions. Challenges what we think is real. How things can be both seen and unseen at once, like sound, like breath, like God, like death, like people of color in America. Now the nature of being, that's the perennial topic in metaphysics. And when we're discussing race, poses a question that only white people get to ask themselves in this country. What does it mean to be? That is privilege. The ability to decide and define, create the standard, the norm, and live in it without even knowing it. The ability to tell, because people of color in America are often told what to be, be cargo, be commodity, be cash crop, be free, but uh, this water fountain free, be free labor, be this side of the border, be underprivileged, underrepresented, underfunded, undereducated, but overwhelmed, be, be affirmative action. But statistically, affirmative action helps more white women than any other demographic. So really, it's um, be just enough to make a campus look diverse. Be, be hired. Be just enough to make an office look diverse. Be voting when they need you, voting when it's convenient. Then when they don't, be gerrymandered and out of a voice. Oh, be quiet. Be quiet. Because if it doesn't make a sound, well, then it doesn't exist. This country is full of white noise, all static and erasure. And just because you didn't create the interference doesn't mean you don't benefit from it, but you can't make the struggle in my standard theory. We are not a hypothesis. We are absolute. We're an axiom, an undeniable truth. And the truth is, it isn't always white sheets and rebel flags that, are, that is our plight. Sometimes it is the people standing idly by in the forest pretending not to hear us fall. Come on. <laughs>